welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Motorsport for a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of a, I'd say, silly racing. You see, often when we are doing something we do in Versus Community or various things that we film, the chances are we will sit down, we will pick a car that we like and build it a certain way to get various characteristics. Maybe we want good handling, maybe we want good top speed, acceleration, be good in the wet, all of those kind of things. But we're not going to be allowed to do any of that today because the vehicles are going to be randomly generated, randomly selected for us uh, via Kudos Prime, and then they are going to be auto-upgraded. So the game is going to apply all the upgrades to them. So the game will build them in weird and wacky ways, and the game doesn't like putting race tyres on them or doesn't like building them in a sensible way at all. And then to further that, we're just going for all the randomness. The tracks that the cars would go racing around are randomised as well. For our first race, I have been drawn an Audi S4. Actually, not a completely terrible option. Uh, I mean, the circuit, of course, has also been randomly drawn. It's Spa, the weather equally... Everything's been randomised, really. Um, but yeah, the weather has remained dry for this. Oh, I've got a lot of understeer, as does Stevie by the looks of it. Who would have thought the Audis were struggling with some understeer? Um... Yeah, I don't know how this is going to go particularly. It's not, this is not a great B-class car, and I don't know Spa very well, although Shadow's got all sorts of twitchy coming up the crest. Now, Ollie's going to be a lot better handling than I am, but has got absolutely no straight line speed. God, Impega has a lot more speed than us. I'm not going to be able to defend, I don't think, from Impega's Mercedes. That thing is flying along. Will it have any turning, though? That is the question. Oh, I'm trying to get stopped, and we do. There was a bit of locking going on, and I'm not even sure if it was front or rear locking. Uh, that was a bit sketchy. I mean, of the tracks, this is the one where you would want your big power car. I feel like that Evo 10 would be an absolute monster around some circuits, but around Spa, uh, yeah, not ideal. Now, none of us have race tyres, I don't think, in this one. We did have a rule for this session. If you did get drawn race tyres, you had to run it on hards, because they're a little bit, well, crazy OP, basically. I've done that corner terribly. Um, but none of us, I don't think, have got them uh, in this. I think I'm still on my stock tyres. I've got some tyre widths on it, which is nice, but that is about it. God, my braking's very strange in this. Uh, it feels like it... It actually kind of feels a little bit like it wants to lock the rears uh, as we go into some of these corners, which is not a feeling that I particularly enjoy or particularly want to to, to have. I mean, don't think what I do through this section is going to matter too much. I think Impega is going to run away from us down the straight there. Couldn't decide when to get on the throttle through that corner. Uh, I think we're a little bit more... I think we've got a little bit more corner grip than Shadow, but we can't match the acceleration of the Jag. I'm not going to be able to be flat through there, I don't think. Uh, even with a lift, it was a little bit wide. Uh, okay, we're on to the straight. The Mercedes is about to come flying past, uh, although it's not going to want to go side by side through here. You don't want to go side by side with the Audi that is... Uh, struggling with understeer. I mean, none of us have driven these cars. None of us know... Well, I thought I was being a bit reasonable through there, and I wasn't. None of us have driven the cars. None of us know what we can and can't get away with on this first lap. Uh, we will slow it down for the final corner. This is where we might catch the jag a little bit. God, I can't even get on the power where I want to through there. It just wants to drag itself off the circuit. Feel quite close together, actually, at the end of the first lap for a field of randomly selected and, I say randomly built, but game-built cars, surprisingly close so far. Uh, there was... Proximity arrow seemed to be a little bit iffy at the moment. There was something shooting past. I think that must have been tracking Blakey in the Maserati. Uh, I don't look forward to this section. A Rouge and Radion in the big, heavy Audi is a bit dicey. But we're up there. We're up there quite nicely. I mean, I think the Jag's sketchier than we are. Unfortunately for me, as much as we can hold Impega off for a while, <laughs> I haven't got an answer for that Merck straight line speed. Uh, we might be able to fire back. I think I think Impega's got further away from us this time. I don't think I can fire back under brake. Shadow has gone deep. Uh, that's not... I mean, it's good news for us. What might help me here is if Impega and Shadow start fighting one another, maybe it can become a three-car battle for the lead. Uh, not sure quite what we've got fighting behind us. I think Chris is in a 350Z. Uh, that's 
one of the cars, I think it's the 350Z, Ollie's Evo and Blakey's Maserati that are the cars behind us, but I am not totally sure. Oh god, please turn Audi. Audi of boatiness. Uh, it's not. All, it's by no means bad to drive this car. Uh, it's absolutely not a terrible car to drive, but it is very boaty. You kind of have to wait a long time through these corners to uh, to get it to do what you want it to, and it's just not as quick as the Merc in a straight line. I feel like we've got a bit of an advantage over the cars behind that probably handle better than us, but we are, we're not slow in a straight line, we're just not as fast as that Mercedes. Uh, All-wheel drive in motorsport generally, in, in this game, generally isn't very nice in terms of PI. It tends to chew up a lot of PI for not a huge amount of advantage. If this was wet, if this was wet, this might be a different story, but of course it isn't. Uh, oh dear, that's turning way too soon through there. Don't hit the gravel. That's not going to help matters. God damn it. Uh, yeah, did not want that. Did not want that. I think Impeg has got us now. Uh, not that I was expecting to really catch the Mercedes, but that was just a silly little silly little error uh, by me uh, to wander a bit wide and touch the grass. That, that Nissan behind is catching us. That could be a problem by the end of the race. I think we're just going to end up annoying it, but uh, we will wait and see. Okay, S4, get changed direction down there. Nope. <laughs> okay, can't, I really can't get away with that. Gotta stop wandering. No, I say I gotta stop wandering wide. <laughs> they do the same behind us. The one plus point, that corner there, the one plus point, of course, is that I have got the all wheel drive traction. I'm not struggling with wheel spin or anything silly like that. And we'll be able to do it at turn one as well. I can just boot it. Once I've got it turned, as long as I don't understeer wide, I can just boot it and we go. Uh, Impega is starting to catch Shadow. Now, I think by the end of the straight coming up, we could see some challenges on that Jag. Because uh, it struggles going up Radion. It doesn't have the control uh, quite to go up there. Uh, I, see, again, as we're trying to learn the cars, we're pushing it a little bit more. We did wander a bit wide uh, going over there. Not great uh, from me, but yeah, we're, we're just trying to, I'm trying to figure out what we can and can't get away with. Uh, as I said, no one has driven these cars before, and well, they are awkward, stubborn beasts. Quite a lot of them, I would imagine. Uh, I've got more company than I would like. We're definitely more under threat from the car behind than we are a threat to the cars in front. Uh, I am impressed. So, last time we did Lucky Dip, uh, the cars were driven stock. It was sort of reverse PI grid, and I think it was roll-off delays, if I remember rightly. Uh, the cars were driven stock. Now, the classic cars were awful. Absolute undrivable messes. But now, with the auto upgrade bit sort of coming into effect, it's made that Jaguar not be completely useless. It would be, it would be horrific if it was uh, if it was stock compared to these modern cars. But it is, it is not. It is leading the way quite nicely, and. Uh, yeah, that, ha that is a big difference in this, between this and the last time we did it. Uh, I have got company going on now in the form of a Nissan and a Maserati, and Danger Man's not far away with a big BMW, that's the 850 CSI, uh, is coming to have an investigate. That's got a lot of power. Uh, that could well be quite fast down these straights. That's better through there. I mean, it's not perfect. Not great on this circuit. However, we are on to the back straights. Oh, we're not as fast as a straight line compared to that Nissan as I was hoping, really. Eee. 350Z is always weirdly slippery in a straight line on Forza games. Uh, so, I, I'm a little bit scared of that car. Is Chris going to have a look? One thing we have got going for us is that mighty traction. Oh, coming off the corner here. Uh, we can just dump the throttle and go which they can't do. So that's where they're struggling. And that's where we're making our lap time. We've slightly lost touch to the cars ahead. I can't... I don't think I can match. I don't think I can or the car can match the pace of the two cars in front of us. I think they are just too quick. Uh, we will try and get on the power as soon as possible. I mean, I hope Chris and Blakey fight one another. If they fight each other over fourth, it might allow me to cling on to the third place uh, we will have a little I say a little break on the way up the hill which works out very nicely for us uh, we don't wander wide all is good 
I say take a breath. The Gibble's slow. The Maserati's slow at a straight line. Chris is not. That 350Z is quick down here. That is a problem. Oh, I might have actually wandered back across onto the racing line a little bit. Sorry, Chris. That was a little bit iffy from me, if I'm honest. Uh, <laughs> didn't really mean to. Um, but yeah, I kind of... I, I moved to sort of to the middle of the road and then moved across a bit at a, at a bad time. That wasn't the greatest piece of driving I've ever done. We are now on defensive driving bit. Chris is going to have a look to the inside and I don't know if we're going to have the grip to fight off the Nissan through here. We're going to try at least. The Nissan's going to get on the power and the Nissan has just got enough straight line speed. Although what might help me if Blakey gives us a nudge, you don't want to go around the outside down here. We can shove the Audi back up the inside. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's desperate It's desperate defence times is what it is. I fear, I mean, Blakey's clearly got some good mid-corner speed, but the Gibble's not got the straight line speed of me, but perhaps more importantly, neither of us have a straight line speed to answer the 350. Uh, so that's going to be a concern. Uh, all Chris has to do is get a good run out of here and might get both of us, basically because I will outrun the Maserati, I hope, and we are going to be a sitting duck down here because the Nissan is going to be better through the corners. Uh, although I say that, Maserati's actually now got a good run. Uh, well, I'm going to take a normal racing line through here. Blakey's going to look for one of the most audacious overtakes you can do at Spa. He's not going to be able to pull that one off quite. It is going to be three cars for the last spot on the podium. Who dare break the latest into the final corner. Well, I break very late. We're on a very, very tight line. However, I think my all-wheel drive launch might just be enough to hold on. It's a drag race between a 350Z and an Audi S4 and the Audi gets it just. <laughs> the one bit my car could do is launch off that final corner. Bloody hell. That was a hard fought for podium. Great race. Really enjoyable race. I didn't have the pace of the top two. I tried. I just couldn't match it. Um, it just, yeah, was not quite. It wasn't good enough in the corners or fast enough on the straights. But the all wheel drive launch out of that last corner really, really did the job. Now, it would be at this point that I would move on to the next race, but something very weird happened. In fact, it was kind of happening a bit during this race as well. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, when I ended the race, this is the site that greeted me. Now, bear in mind, I am playing Forza on an Xbox. I don't know what's causing this. I don't know why it looks like my game has become, I mean, highly irradiated. I can't think of even a better way to sum it up than that, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it was quite bad. Uh, this is it actually in motion. It's really, it's really odd. It's really, really peculiar. Like, sometimes you see this with, with PC games. and well, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. The lighting has gone absolutely berserk. Now, the race for me here was fine. I sat and I did the race and it was absolutely no problem. For whatever reason, the second I got back into the lobby, it decided to freak out and do this. And I don't know whether this is part of the latest update or so on. But as I mentioned, it wasn't just me who had this. I had this after the race. Liam was a lot more unlucky because this crazy lighting was going on while Liam was trying to race. Now, I've got some footage of this. It's not, it's not particularly well recorded because it was supposed to be recorded and all that, but this is what Liam was trying to race with. It's, it's Rainbow Road, only a lot more difficult, and the cars are balls of light, and you can't see anything. I appreciate, yeah, the recording quality is not particularly good. You get the idea, though. What is this bug? This is weird. It's very weird. But anyway, yeah, so that was going on. Anyway, on to the next race. For our second race, we well, we move up a class. Uh, we are A class. So these vehicles have started off in B class and they have gone to A class. I have gone to Skyline. Actually feel like this is... Oh, it's getting very busy down here. Uh, actually feel like this is not a terrible shout in terms of a car. Uh, we're at Watkins Glen for this race. Um, I don't think I'm going to... Oh, that's a very sideways Aston Martin. Uh, I'm going to get stuck behind it. Oh, the Aston Martin. Actually, Longbow kind of straightened out Aaron's 
<laughs> Classic machine. God, they are not very quick in a straight line. Uh, this is not really the circuit. Uh oh, I'm too late on the brakes compared to the cars in front of me. A little bit. I'd slightly misjudged where I was. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> the DBR1 has been a bit of a hazard uh, at that point. It was. The Jag worked in B-Class, I think maybe A-Class, they're a little bit too sketchy and the game cannot quite build them well enough. Uh, I mean, I've again got the all-wheel drive problem. Uh, while the weather condition is overcast wet, it's kind of slightly damp, it's certainly not wet enough to actually help me out here. Um, but yeah, the curse, the problem with my skyline is going to face is, you know, the PI is used for sort of the launch and after the very start of the race, it doesn't really help. A lot of these cars have enough grip that uh, they've got decent enough traction out of these corners. Um, uh, I say that. I mean, I'm sure some are going to slide about a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's just not quite enough, really. Uh, R34 is normally a pretty good shout in terms of uh, cars are running this. Christ, really struggling through some of these corners. We are going to punch off that one as Ninetales had a look to the inside, couldn't do it. Uh, Stevie is leading the way. Uh, they are, are they the Challenger? I thought that was going to be crap, but, but it's only the opening lap, of course, but the Challenger is leading the way uh, from a whole bunch of cars. Two Ferraris are having a battle in front of me. Now, I would expect to run away from the MG down a straight. I would hope to run away from it. I mean, I pull away very, very slightly. We're not very good uh, compared to the MG. Uh, so, by the looks of it, it's the Challenger versus the Vantage up at the front, and then a few more cars behind it that I cannot quite see. Uh, Tyre-wise, I believe I'm on street tyres in this uh, in this race. Not great, but, you know, <laughs> it's kind of it's what I have been given here. Uh, we did have a good run up there. Here comes Ollie with a Civic. I've got two front-wheel drive cars, actually, uh, right behind me. Now, we've got no cars in front of us. I'm hoping we can kind of go for it through the chicane. Uh, still not quite. Well, I mean, we're still learning the bloody car at the moment. I've got so much understeer there. Christ, the Civic's just gone past like I didn't exist. <laughs> Civic's actually got some to... Middle I'm, uh, I'm okay at Watkins, but I've not driven this layout. I normally prefer the short layout a little bit more, but I, it's, not, it's certainly not my strongest track. Combine that with... Uh, me not being great. I don't, know, I don't think this is a great car. It's still quite close to the pack, though, which is good. Getting very busy up ahead. Uh, we're going to find a way back past the MG again. I think this is going to be our race for a lot of this. I think Stevie might also be backing everyone up a little bit. Here comes the Amira. That thing's a scary prospect. Uh, we're going to make Rusky go a long way around there. We're going to have to try and defend a little bit through here, which we can do. I mean, yeah, the thing is, I can, I can jump on the throttle straight away, which is great. But most of the other cars can do fairly well. Uh, so, yeah, oh, Gliska has got to the front. Now, I think they were in the in the Alpine, the A110. Uh, I think that's gone and taken the lead away from Stevie's Challenger. The Kuntash is having... There's a big old Italian battle uh, going on up there, which Shadow's Mercedes has just fallen through. Uh, come on. Come on, the Skyline. <laughs> it's, this is one of those. It's not bad... It's a little bit like the S4 in many ways. It's not terrible. In, in no way is it terrible. But it's also nothing special. It's a very mid-pack kind of a car. There, to sum it up, doesn't really have... It's, it's only real good trait, I guess, would be traction, which we don't really need. Well, okay, yeah, we, we need it, but around this circuit, it's not going to be gaining me any lap time. Uh, the all-wheel drive. We've now got a Supra behind us, potentially going to be giving us some grief at some point. Uh, oh, that's way too much speed into the bus stop. Uh, it's going to be all over the place. I mean, we got it back under control, but it's not. we certainly didn't gain any time with that terrible line through there. It's still a little bit of guesswork trying to uh, figure out what we can do uh, down here. But, I mean, there's still a chance, right? If the group ahead starts really fighting, we can maybe make something work, but we can try and use our acceleration, use our traction to fire it out of the corner. Uh, I do fear that unless a miracle happens, we are more likely to be looking in the mirrors than we are looking too far forward, but we'll give it a go uh, as, as best as we can. We are sort of taking these... Oh, Gliska's absolutely buggered off at the front now, uh, by the looks of it. Oh, 
and I have locked everything up down there. That is not what you need. Uh, can I get myself back on the circuit? We've got Skyline versus Skyline here. Me versus Liam. The R32 <laughs> is going to try around the outside. Don't know whether it's going to be able to hold on to that one. Uh, Shadow is... That Mercedes is struggling a little bit at the moment. It has slipped down through the order. Oh, it wasn't... Gl okay, it wasn't Gliska Mars out in front. It was Brazen getting lapped. Uh, <laughs> so... We did. <laughs> it's very rare we ever we ever lap brazen, but we did have a rule, right? Whereby if a car gets get gets selected on race tires, has to run the hard compound tire. Now brazen was on race tires, but that Mercedes is, by the looks of it, undrivable. So I thought it looked weird on the map because it's so far ahead, not that much time-wise. But yeah, that would be why we were just catching to lap a absolutely, absolutely useless brazen car. Oh, shadow almost hit the wall going up the hill there. Uh, we have got... I mean, we're going to be battling Liam for the top 10, I think. Now, it's the Battle of the Skylines. Liam's is a little faster than me down the straight. Uh, can we get the change of direction nicely through here? Not, that was better. That was much better this time around. Liam's going to think about going alongside. It's very difficult to overtake into that corner because uh, it's not really much of a braking zone and it's a very long corner. Uh, Oh, God, I just don't have the stop. I don't have the stopping power or the grip in this car. It's just... It's one of those that's not horrible to drive this. just no... None of its abilities or any... I say or any... No, no, nothing about it is all that good. It's not that fast a straight line. It's not good under brakes. It's not great handling. Just none of it. <laughs> none of it is all that good. It's, it's just average. It's a shame because it looks like a great fun battle going on up here. Oh, God, I tried to stop at a similar point to Lee. I just cannot get slowed down in the same way. Uh, it is really, really difficult. Uh, we will try and launch it off the corner there, if we can at all. Not quite good enough uh, through all of that. Now, I mean, I was kind of hoping to catch Shadow as, as Coffee and that lot there were fighting, but it might have to be. I hope Liam can catch them on the final lap. Stevie's Challenger has gradually slipped back. Yeah, this is one of the this is one of those cars. I don't hate it. It's not awful. It's just not fast. <laughs> you sometimes get that in in Forza, especially with lucky dip stuff. Yeah, you can just end up with a car that's that's alright, but nothing special. Uh, I don't think I've driven this I don't think I've driven it amazingly well either, which doesn't help. Oh there's a crash going on up ahead. I can sense trouble. It's the final lap of the race. Stevie's in a spot of bother here. Uh, the two skylines are going to work together. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> we will push Liam. Oh. No. Okay, it's fine. Uh, so I, I think I can be quite late on the brakes into the chicane through there. And like, we would have been fine on our own through the corner like that. I wasn't quite expecting other cars to break at a similar place. Or as, as a slightly earlier place. We got away with it. There was a little bit of scariness uh, involved there, but we survived it. Or at least I'm quite well with the Civic, to be honest. Getting up to... And is it 9 in front of the MG? I can't even remember if the MG got past me uh, or not. Uh, no, that's not the MG. I don't know where the MG went. Uh, there's so much has gone on in this race that uh, I have struggles to keep track of uh, everything. But it looks like... It looks like we'll be clear of Stevie, I think. We might just cling on to a top 10 uh, earlier on the breaks down here. That may be a good idea. Always hated that corner. <laughs> Never been good at it at Watkins. Over all the generations of forces, in fact, any game I've raced Watkins on, uh, never liked that corner. Particularly, uh, we are not going to be close enough to really get involved with this group ahead. I've just not got any. I've not got enough pace. We're close. We're, we are very much tantalizingly close, but not quite close enough. I'm hoping for an accident or a bump somewhere that we can, like that, shadow brush the wall. We might be able to make the most of it. Our car is not being great. <laughs> Shadow's upset. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'll take a ninth, honestly. God, we can breathe a sigh of relief. The Alpine took victory, followed by the two Ferraris, and Pega got to second. Uh, Blakey got to third in that. And I think it was the big old Vantage in fourth. God, 
did not really like my car. Uh, it was very average. Watched a fun battle, and I picked up places when people made a mistake, basically. I could have driven the car better. I'll hold my hands up on that one as well. Um, but, yeah. Struggled a little bit. An entertaining race, though, nevertheless. So, for our final race, we head to Silverstone. Now, this, all the vehicles here are A-class. Uh, however, they could have been drawn from any class up to, of course, A-class. So, they could have been drawn, in mine was actually an E-class car to start with, only just an E-class car, but yeah. Um, so, they could be drawn all sorts of places. Um, now, I did actually have race tyres added. I think I'm the only one on the race tyres in this, uh, but of course, that means I have the penalty of I'm on the hard tyres, which... I mean, I'm quite slidey to start with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that much. Christ, it's very slidey. Uh, the Tirana hit. It's pr so this car is pretty much max upgraded. The auto upgrade will not do engine swaps, uh, but just about everything else that can be chucked in this car has been chucked in this car, barring one stage of carburetor for some reason. Despite the fact that we are 12 pi off the top of A class. Uh, so yeah, sure. Um, that is a very loud cobra. <laughs> I think it was the cobra making all of those noises. Uh, I'm about to lose out to a Diablo. I just, I'm not going to be able to fight that, I don't think. Uh, now, can we look for... Oh, wait, there's quite a few muscle cars in this. There's a few odds and ends around the place. Oh, the cobra's about to have a very big accident. The cobra's just buried. It's Everyone's in the gravel. <laughs> Stop making sandcastles. They're not conducive to a good race. Uh, Liam is going to fly past. I fear I am just going backwards at the moment. Uh, well, maybe the hard tyres were a little too much of a of a penalty for the oh god for the race tyres. If you put them on the softs, this would just win. Like there is there is no question about it. Uh, but these hard tyres maybe are a little a little bit too much of a penalty. Uh, however, I think the bigger problem for me more is the fact that for whatever reason, the other thing the auto upgrade didn't do is upgrade the rear tyre width. So my car's very light. It's got 400 horsepower, 2,200 pounds, and it's only got two six fives at the rear. It could have gone much bigger, but the auto upgrade just decided no. Just just decided not to do any of that. So it's got max front width, which are two five fives, but the back end is the wiggliest thing. It is, the, it is just a very excited dog with the waggliest tail in the world. That is my Tirana uh, at the moment. Right, who's going to launch their car off the curb this time around? Oh. I mean, maybe me. I think I'm more likely just to slide my way into the gravel trap here more than anything. Uh, we're going to lose out to two in Pega. It's not gone amazingly well here. Uh, <laughs> it's very oversteery. So, who is leading? Danger Man is leading... Uh, what are they? And they're in a GTX, Plymouth GTX. Uh, that is the current race leader. Classic Muscle Cars, I did wonder if they might struggle, but they seem to have been quite strong so far. Uh, we are now going to deal with an RS6. The old RS6. Having a look. Uh, I mean, I'm feeling like I should out accelerate it. <laughs> it's so <such> terrifying. <laughs> this thing is all over the place. Uh, right. Can we match Longbow down the straight? I mean, so the RS6 will be good top end. I feel like it's going to be heavy. That might be where I have an advantage. See, the RS6 has exactly the same trait my S4 did have in the first race, where it like wants to lock the rears constantly, uh, which is very scary under braking, and you're just never sure what the car's going to do. It's getting very busy up ahead. Once again, I fear we're going to have a great battle to watch in front of us, but my car's not very good and can't join it. But you never know. Ugh. Please, Holden, please. No, come on. Come on. Find some grip or traction or any of it would be lovely. Uh, we are fighting back on the outside of the Audi. I mean, we might be able to make something work here. No, oh, maybe. Maybe or maybe not. Or, or, or not. Or not. Really. Okay, we will slow it down. Rusky's going to have a look. Oh, God, I hit the sausage curb on the inside. Uh, that's always dicey. Yeah, this is just a very slidey car. I think there's somebody up the inside, but you're going to really struggle with that line onto the back straight. Uh, it's such a tight line that, well, yeah, is, <laughs> I don't even know where they've gone. They ended up flung out wide. You don't really want that line there. Brazen is the next car. Uh, I think Brazen already, well, Brazen was one of the cars that got past us but went off at the final turn, I think. 
They're in one of the big muscle cars. So the RS6 is quite bad mid-corner, but that's not a surprise. Big, heavy, all-wheel drive boat is going to struggle mid-corner. Um, right, we brakes a little bit early down here, but they're eh, probably better safe than sorry at this stage. Uh, guys, this yeah, this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> I, don't, I honestly don't even think... I don't think the medium tyres would have saved it at this stage. Um, it would have been too... Oh, God, it still wouldn't have enough grip. I don't even think... Uh, we'd probably win on softs. It would probably revert back to being just ridiculously overpowered on them. But, uh, yeah. Whoa. The other... I can just see a lot of... Uh, proximity markers going on there now I'm hoping I can at least outrun the focus down a straight surely uh, here we go uh, no I mean the focus, the focus is not, only not slow no we can't do it we get some punch out of that corner but it's certainly not we are now starting to reel it in if I cannot slide my car about too much that would be great oh god <laughs> no, it's not working it's not working at all. <laughs> now, what is going to be my best bet here? My, my, I mean, I think really my, my best chance at a top 10 is a big accident. Uh, I just can't see us legit having enough pace anywhere to really move forward. And we've mo more now got to start worrying about getting overtaken. The SLS is going to have a look to the inside. And yeah, I can't, I can't really fight that. The Megan, I mean, the R26 R, wonderful car, wonderful car in Horizon. Not sure it's quite as crazy fast in this one, but uh, yeah, can be pretty rapid. Front wheel drive, of course, maybe much like the Focus. Front wheel drive might uh, struggle a little bit with the old power delivery side of things. Come on, Tirana, put that power down. Oh, we've found the Cobra again after it took a trip into the gravel. Yeah, <laughs> you can see how much we're struggling here. It has just been a backward slide through the field for us. Oh, can we get stopped and turned? Eventually, we might. Uh, there we go. Just about. Uh, the Cobra will be the next to pass us. Even if I think if these two fight one another, it might slow each other down enough. It's a big dive from Blakey. Good pass from the McGann into the final corner. Uh, we've just got to wait so long to get on the throttle. And it's, it's not even... Like, I could deal with the understeer if the back had any grip, but it doesn't. The back the back end of this car is just awful. That Cobra is so loud. It <laughs> uh, is so very loud. Oh, and we are a drift machine again. Oh, I can say panic and flail. That's basically what we've done this entire race. Uh, and I've clobbered the curb. Yeah, this is really terrible. <laughs> I thought it might be quite a good car. I honestly thought, when I looked at the builds, I thought, okay, yeah, we'll, yeah we're not going to be on the soft tyres, but I really thought this was going to be a, a strong contender for the best of my three cars. And the S4, I thought, would be the worst of my three. I've been completely wrong. This is garbage. The S4 was honestly not that terrible. Uh, well... I mean, the S4 got us the best finishing position, but just competitive-wise, the S4 just wasn't that terrible. And this thing has been a absolute turd, <laughs> for, for want of a better word. But that's, that is how the lucky dip builds go sometimes. Uh, the gods the gods giveth and they taketh away. And they have, yeah, they have taken away any semblance of control that could have happened in this game. It's so bad. <laughs> but, you know, with the goal, I think the goal now really for us is just not last. Can I beat Stevie and, and Coffee? Can I hold on for one more lap in the world's worst Tirana? And I should point out, Tirana, as you can see, it's liveried up. I have ran this in, in various uh, Versus Community events and whatnot. It has been a quite... If I build it, it's a quite quick car. Um, but, yeah, in this auto-built, guys, it is terrible. Come on. Come on, Holden. Uh, Coffee has found a way. Well, Stevie's had an accident on this lap, so I doubt Stevie's going to be uh, looking for a way past. Oh, God, I, I went to move out of line, and the whole thing just moves weirdly. <laughs> it's so strange to drive. <laughs> so weird. 
<laughs> oh, someone's had a very big accident into the pit lane. Uh, that was Blakey. I don't know if Blakey maybe got a tag? I didn't, I didn't really see what happened. What I did see was an upside down Renault heading towards the pits. Which makes me think Blakey may have got a tag from a car going towards that corner. And uh, got into some trouble. God, that was terrible. <laughs> we went from 3rd to 16th. I don't even know who won in all of that. Who did get a victory? The RS4. That's not what anybody expected at all. Christ. Uh, in Pegas, Diablo got to 2nd. Liam got 3rd with the Mercury, I think it was. That's an unusual... That's an unusual group at the top. I would not have pegged the RS4 um, at all. Typical one round where the all-wheel drive car is good is the round where I don't bloody have one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's how it goes. Oh, dear. That was something. Well, there we have it. Um, not the best session of Lucky Dip for me, particularly. Uh, it really was the opposite direction in terms of how I thought things would go. The Tirana, yeah, okay, we had a rule that may, maybe it was a little harsh on the cars that did get the race tyres. Uh, but honestly, I think even that on softs wouldn't be any good. It was terrible. Um, that just, it just wasn't particularly great. Um, the, the Audi was a lot better than I expected it to be. I think helped maybe by the fact that we were at Spa and its straight line speed wasn't too shabby, so it didn't quite come undone as much. Uh, the Skyline was just aggressive mediocre for want of a better word um yeah it, it was i had very much a session of eh kind of a cars with the s4 being the, yeah the best the best of the lot which i really wasn't expecting when i was drawn these but uh there we go always good fun doing this you never know what you're gonna get you never know what's gonna happen um but apparently you never know when your game's gonna do all sorts of weird freaky lighting so that's a new thing to deal with that, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.